watch Captain Catherine the Rue. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, live while Doctor Who is airing, it's me. The guy is going to tell you about his brand new Doctor Who podcast. That's the kind of fucking hypocrite I am. And I hope everybody realizes that uh, and shuts off their fucking computers and throws them in a river for having me ever despoiled them. Welcome, everybody, live from Alameda County, California. It's Saturday afternoon, uh, Saturday night for many, many people. My name is Justin Robert Young. This is Jerry Saturday. It's way late this week. Uh, on this on this uh, current course of Sly, jury, the jury live stream will be Jury Tuesday um, in, in about two years as it slowly slides from Friday to Saturday to Sunday to Monday. Eventually, it'll, it'll reset, of course, which is good news for all of us. Welcome. If this is us, and say, whenever we do it at a different time, um, uh, whenever we do this at, 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 a, at a different time, I, I always notice that there are different kind of people who aren't able to listen to it at the other times uh, that I'm on. And uh, welcome. This is basically a show where I just want to talk about stuff that I want to talk about, and I just talk about it. And and uh, I want to be able to interact with you guys and, and just kind of go on really long, rambling monologues, which is, uh, you know, a particular passion of mine, since I love to hear myself talk. What are we going to talk about today? Well, uh, first and foremost, uh, I'm going to talk about this gigantic road trip I'm about to start uh, as of tomorrow, and I might be coming to a town near you. So... If you are in one of these towns that I talk about, uh, then be on notice because I'm going to come to your house and I'm going to hug you. And it's not going to be a friend hug. It's going to be a really, really passionate hug. I give uncomfortable hugs. And ask anybody who I've hugged. I'm a real hugger. Man, I'll hug the shit out of you. Like, you're going to fucking leave and you're going to know you got hugged, bro. You're going to be like, you're going to feel it a couple days later. You're going to be reaching for a box of cereal. Oh, God. Still kind of sore from that hugging. Ugh. And it's not hard. It's not pressure. It's mental. Mental, ladies and gentlemen. That's what I do. I hug you with my brain. This got really weird. What am I doing? Uh, tomorrow morning, I get on a flight. It departs from San Francisco International Airport at 6.15 in the good goddamn morning, and I fly all the way across this great grand country of ours direct to Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Why am I going to Philadelphia, Pennsylvania? Fuck if I know. No clue. But I do know this. It's going to put me over the bonus into United's silver program. And uh, and from here on out, on any other little uh, plane trip I take, I stand to be upgraded to first class. Ding, 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 ding. Uh, so I go from Philadelphia to Detroit. Detroit um, is uh, where I pick up a car and I drive to Ann Arbor, Michigan. Um, I have go games in the following cities. Ann Arbor, Michigan. Uh, Richmond, Virginia, Ann Arbor's Monday, Richmond's Wednesday, um, Baltimore Friday, and in between all those thing, things, I, I, alright, so I go to, from Ann Arbor, I'm gonna spend the night in Columbus, uh, because I'm gonna see my platonic friend, we are platonic, me, me and Ashley Paramore, just wanna let you guys know, we're platonic, ain't nothing going on, I don't give a fuck what the paparazzi has to say about it at our fucking party that we threw. It's supposed to be a private fucking party. Well, I got people up in there prying into my business with cameras. It's Photoshop. It's like fucking uh, <laughs> Oscar De La Hoya when he had those pictures of... Uh, yeah, him getting ridden by a dominatrix, Photoshop. It's amazing what you can do with computers these days. That's all I got to say. So any pictures that looked like me and Ashley were kissing, listen, bro, computers, 
How the fuck do they work? I don't know, but apparently they can do that. Uh, okay, so I'm going to uh, see Ashley on Tuesday. Wednesday, I'm in Richmond, and then Wednesday night, I go to D.C. Um, I will be in D.C. for one night, go to Baltimore. Baltimore, that night, I fly off to um, Boston. But if you are in the cities of uh, or around Ann Arbor, Michigan, uh, Richmond, Virginia, or... Uh, Baltimore, Maryland, holler at a, a player, you know, like I would, I'm actually, I'll tell you what, I'm actually looking for somebody in fucking Ann Arbor that will direct me to a, uh, sports bar for which I can watch the Steelers Denver game. So if anybody's in Ann Arbor wants to watch the fucking Steelers game with me, um, let me know. Cause I'm, I'm, that's, I, I I'm not going to fucking lie, man. I arranged my entire schedule, entire schedule, flying out so I could have time to watch the Steelers play football. That's what, that's who I am. That's the guy that stands before you on the computer. Okay. Um, Mukow says he's in Livonia, half hour drive. All right. That's the first half. It pretty much brings me to the end of the first week. Now we fly to Boston. Boston, I am in Boston for a little bit. I'm in Boston. I get in late Friday night. I'm in there Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. I leave Wednesday. Um, now, Boston's going to be a little bit more complicated for me uh, in terms of seeing people just because there's a lot of people there that I've known forever that i got to kind of catch up with. Because I'm very rarely in Boston. Because uh, that's what happens when you go to a, uh, a Northeast school like Syracuse. When you're not a Northeasterner. Is you wind up fucking not living in the Northeast. Like everybody has been destined to their entire fucking lives when they grow up in the Northeast. And uh, you fucking don't see your friends much. So I would like to see them. I'll, I'll have plenty of time to see them. And I'd love to catch up with a bunch of Diamond Club people. So uh, I mean I know Adam 12 is out there, uh, of course, P. Delahenty is out there, and I'm, uh, I'll definitely have to figure that out. So, um, we'll be in touch, but I am there for a little bit. So, I'm there Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. Tuesday, uh, we're doing a big, fat go game. I don't know if I can say this. I think I can say this. Uh, we're doing a big, fat go game for... Uh, you want to, just so I don't piss people off, I'll say it's a major video game company and a it's in support of a big video game coming out and it's not a coincidence that we're doing it at a in a city that has rich tradition in terms of the Revolutionary War. How's that for a few hints? Gumshoes. Um, so there. That's what me and Brett. Brett will be out there. Brett's showing up way later, though. Brett's going to be there, I think, Monday afternoon. But me and Brett are running the game. Uh, it's actually going to be two games for journalists. Um, you know, I don't know. It's going to be fun. I think it's going to be really fun. Uh, I don't know what our, our responsibility is going to be if, if we're allowed to talk about it or whatever. I think we probably are. I don't know if it's going to be a major thing, but it's uh, a big, fat, hairy, custom-go game. It's going to be hilarious. Actually, I don't know whether I'm going to know anybody um, who's in the game because it's all journalists. Like I asked, I asked Belmont. I thought Belmont might might have done it, but I guess she didn't get those invites when she's not like hosting a video game show. It's just dumb, because like she could probably reach as many people as a fucking video game magazine or a video game website. She's Veronica fucking Belmont, man. She's got like a billion and a half followers. All right. Uh, from there, I go uh, to Cleveland. Fly to Cleveland. Folks, all little chicks with the crimson lips say Cleveland rocks and Jerry's going to be there. They're saying two things. Cleveland rocks. I'm there on when? 
When am I there? Uh, I get in Wednesday. I'm there until Friday. Uh, and I'm staying with a couple friends. So if there's anybody in Cleveland, come on, baby. Holler at your boy. I always like seeing people on the road. I thought it was going to be a weird thing, to be honest with you. Uh, you know, I, I always wanted to kind of try it, but, like, um, I was kind of bolstered by, you know, the experience that I've had at, at past Dragon Con. And uh, Miss 1776 is a, uh, a good guess on what the game is going to be. <laughs> Revolutionary War-themed mist as you slowly wander through empty signing halls. Uh, okay, I wasn't sure what was, you know, what how I was going to be meeting people uh, on, on the road, and I was really, I only kind of did it just because I figured it would be a, a, a fun thing to try, and if it got weird, I just wouldn't do it again, but like, there hasn't been an experience where I met somebody who's dug, you know, what, what uh, I do on the internet, and and they haven't been cool as fuck. Like, I don't know what it is. But it's really amazing to to see, you know. You'd figure that you'd get creepers, that you'd get fucking people that were just weird. But I think internet fandom, and I was thinking about this a lot uh, with the whole turquoise Jeep thing, that, like, internet fans are just different. It's just, like, you're, you're bonding on a, on a different level, you know. Uh, like, people might be awkward, right? But, like... You're always, I mean, you know, you can't get over that. They're going to get ma magically not awkward if they're awkward people. Um, you know, it's just, it, it's so interesting. And, and everyone's been so kind on the road and so amazing. And, and so I really do, when I go on big trips like this, you know, it's going to be lonely. Lonely for all gerbs on the road there. I'm going to have my parchment map, my compass. A, a dressing knife and I will make I'll make my way across the country solving mysteries as I go along the boss key maybe but not yet I need to find it as I excavate the dungeon excavate did I use that right I don't think so let's talk about Dragon Con part of the reason why I like to meet people on the road is because uh, with Dragon Con I just really love meeting people at um, at Dragon Con and this year was no exception. It was just, again, it was, you know, uh, the big difference this year than, than previous years was really the, um, really the, the party. That was an amazing thing. Let me bring you guys behind the scenes since we kind of kept this thing a secret right up until, uh, the end, uh, we kind of went through a lot of revisions on what we were going to do uh, with the party, and it was only really uh, maybe two weeks, two or three weeks before that we settled on doing it at the Ritz. Uh, we, had, we had thought about doing it. What I, what I initially wanted to do was just lock down a bar, right? Is we go to a bar, lock it down, and open it up, and just people can fucking go cuckoo bananas and drink their goddamn heads off. And then maybe we have, you know, some live music and everything. And then the idea, well, actually, no, 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 that was the secondary idea. Uh, the first idea was to have a suite that was literally just the Diamond Club, right? Like, we would call it the Diamond Club. We might have uh, a signage that said the Diamond Club. And it would be like a suite that they, they would maybe have a, a couple beds, but like one of those like multi-room sort of suites. And people could just, we would give out like the, we'd give out some keys to cool people, to, to maybe authors or something like that. And people could just come in and out. They could come up, hang out, drink. It could be like the, the, the lounge for uh for for in the you know for night parties we could just kind of uh you know totally um have it be a a gathering place for for uh, for chat realm and everything and that was really scuttled by the fact that there weren't any goddamn rooms like that man it was late in the game and we could not find fucking anything like there is an art to getting dragon con rooms 
And you, really, the, the only times that you can even think about it are booking them right as they go on sale or scrounging them up right as people fuck up and get, like, the initial, like, hey, welcome to the Sheridan. Uh, and then they're like, oh, fuck, oh, my God, I signed up for that, didn't I? Oh, that was before I got hooked on crack. Oh, now I'm hooked on crack. I don't have any money. All the money I have is going to crack. Oh, what am I going to do? Oh, no, I don't want to go. Ah. And then you get the crackhead's room. So that's really the way to do it. Uh, you know, is the way for the crackheads to panic. Uh, <laughs> Meek says, tale as old as time, song as old as rhyme, the crackhead and his room. Uh, all right. Uh, so we want to do it have a, as a gathering place. We wanted to lock down a bar. And, and then we wound up talking to Dodd Vickers. Dodd Vickers is uh, a, a cool dude. He runs a magic website called Magic Newswire. And now he's like a real big shit in uh, Atlanta running locations for movies because it, Atlanta's become like a real cool place to do films. Uh, you know, like right now he's working on a, on a movie called The, the Intern, with Owen Wilson and Vince Vaughn, I believe. So he's a he's a big dude. He worked in hospitality forever. So we went and uh, talked to him. He set up a uh, you know a place at at the Ritz Carlton. Since we had some money to burn, we were able to really do it upright, man. We did hors d'oeuvres. We did a bar, cash bar, had some fucking drink tickets floating around. Uh it was it was a sweet deal, man. I'll tell you what. It's uh it was it was really, really fun. If you weren't able to make it, like I I definitely suggest that you guys do it again and, and you know maybe maybe it went so well. I'll just say this. It went so well that I would love to do it again next year. Now, obviously this was only predicated on the fact that we had a hit goddamn book and we had promised everybody we were going to spend money on a party, so we spent money on a party. However, even if it meant getting sponsorship, I would love to do a party again. I think it would be a very cool thing and I think we could do it make it even uh uh I think we could have we could have we could make it even bigger. We could make it more fun. We could make it awesome. You know, and not to say it wasn't awesome this year, man. We had some great people. We had uh, sponsored by Fleshlight. I don't know. I'll take Fleshlight money for a party. That'd be great. Um people that went what was the total money you guys spent? Uh, this is Steve Cirillo in the chat room. I, I don't know if he's talking to uh, talking to me about what we spent. I don't know exactly. I know what the the last invoice I saw was over four k, and that was including over eighteen hundred in drink tickets alone. Let me tell y'all something about fucking drink tickets. Drink tickets are vouchers where you buy the most expensive drink they have available. So every fucking thing that we bought was $11. It was $11 drinks. Every single thing. Uh, it was uh, it was super, super crazy. Um So yeah, this time a big indignation. That's that's uh, very very hopeful. So I don't know. We're gonna turn our, our attention to um, South by Southwest now. Hopefully we'll do something really really cool at South by Southwest, and then uh, you know we will focus on Dragon Con again. But but South by Southwest, I I got some cool ideas for South by Southwest uh, this time. So hopefully we'll be able to hook that up. Um, all right. Well here, 
listen, guys, here's the deal. Uh, I'm going to have to break it off uh, right here because I am still packing and I got to get ready to go, uh, you know, have everything ready to go for for this trip. So thank you guys all for watching. Sorry to cut this thing short, uh, but I will I will talk to you all very, 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 very soon. Good evening, folks. I will talk to you. Can't talk about politics now. We'll talk. I'll go live from the road. It'll be a fun time. Peace out, guys.